Oh my god, it's literally strangling me. Eh. Lexus Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine ED3 right here. Hello, hello, happy sauna day. What is up? Today's video is another outfits video, but it's gonna be a little bit different because I saw my good friend Carrie Dayton do a video where she recreated Pinterest trendy outfits. And if you guys know anything about me, you know that I absolutely love Pinterest. I do monthly fashion inspiration boards. And whenever I see an outfit that I really like, I'm like, I need to buy that. I need to thrift it. I need to find it on Depop. And in most cases, I probably own, you know, some parts of that outfit already. It's just that it's being presented in a way that I never thought of styling it. So today's video, I wanted to basically recreate my Pinterest pins. And yeah, let's get into the outfits. Um, need to get some pants on right now. It's cold. So the first outfit I'm going to try and recreate is this one. I am absolutely obsessed with this green blazer. And if you guys, again, just know anything about me, I freaking love green. Now, of course, with this one, it's like an actual blazer, like a suit blazer. And the only green blazer I technically have is this one. Now I just realized it's probably not long enough Oh yeah, this is definitely not long enough to be worn as a dress, but I think what I could do is put a green dress under it. They aren't obviously exact, but I think, you know, it'll get the job done. Let's put on this. Eh, eh, no, there's a piece of hair in my eye. And honestly, when I first pinned this outfit, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to find a green blazer. And although, yes, I would like to find a cream blazer that's more of a dress. I think this honestly kind of does it for me. I mean, at the end of the day, all I'm wanting for this outfit is for it to be cream. She is wearing gold hoops. My ears are not pierced or one of them, just the whole, I can't fit anything through the hole. She does have her hair up. So I have this like green little clam. Cause I mean, if we're gonna, if we're gonna wear all green, then we're gonna wear all green. That looks so bad, but oh well. And then shoes wise, she's wearing these like strappy, black heels and I really need to get into the heel game. I feel like late 2020 is when I finally started accepting like wearing heels. The only like heels I have are these white heels, which is gonna kind of ruin the outfit. Okay, this is the outfit, the shoes definitely ruin it but i mean honestly for the top portion i think this is so cute i don't think i can do her pose it's like the next one i'm going to be recreating is this one i love this outfit so much i really just love the different textures from the skirt to the sweater and i actually have a sweater that is so similar to the one that she's wearing for the button up or like collared shirt that she's wearing under it i kind of can't decide yet she's wearing just like a colored one like a pastel colored one and i don't really own that many pastel colored collared shirts and so i was like okay if i want to go for pastel i could go for this yellow one or i could just go for a good old like white button up it does the job but then i remember I have this one. I feel like this with the pink like under that would be so cute and then this skirt probably like tuck it in. I don't know. We'll have to see how that looks like. I think that will just look so cute under. Let me just put my socks on because I'm gonna have to put some boots on. I mean she's sitting so I don't know exactly if it's like tucked in or not which that does not look good. So maybe like that. You know the execution I actually am not loving. She looks so cool. Maybe it's because it's like pink and pink. If I had like a contrasting color for the collar maybe that would look better to me. I'm not too sure. I think I'm going to go with these because she's wearing some black boots and I don't want any pointy ones. I feel like pointy heels are a little bit too dry. Stuff. I mean, execution wise of how I've like put it all together, I think it's, I mean, obviously it's not spot on, but you can definitely see the like similarities and like inspiration of it. I wish I had like a coffee or something so I could like do her pose, but this is good enough. <laughs> the next Pinterest outfit I'm going to try to recreate is this one and it is so chaotic. Honestly, when I first pinned it, I was like, do I actually think this is cute? But there is something about the corset with the sweatshirt within the skirt and the belt that I'm just really feeling. I have this skirt, which I think it's the most like patterned skirt that I own. They're wearing a sweatshirt and I didn't want to do a black one just because with the corset that I'm probably going to use, it has black in it. So I was thinking of maybe doing like a gray because I kind of want you to be able to see a little bit of the graphic. This Disneyland one and just like the idea of putting a corset with a Disneyland sweatshirt it just made me really excited. And I kind of just want to see what it looks like. I'm going to use this corset. I wore it in my last outfits video because I freaking love it and any chance I have to 
be able to wear it, like I'm gonna do that. Although, how does that look? That looks so weird. Getting like a, a hand cramp from this, God. Okay, you can't even see Mickey's face. Okay, I know, it looks crazy, it looks wild, but let's put a belt on it. Okay, I think it totally could work if I put it with a like puffy blouse or just a nicer blouse under it that wasn't a sweatshirt because it's kind of creating these like ripples. I truly don't hate it. If the corset was just plain, I think that would be a whole different thing. You know, it's a day where you want to wear a sweatshirt and you're like, I don't want to wear a sweatshirt, but I don't want to be like super casual. I want to wear it in a different way. It's definitely a different way. <laughs> I feel like every 17 to like 22 year old on Instagram wears this outfit. It's just a very typical like, you know, basic outfit. I want to recreate it. Although the pants that she's wearing are like, I think proper like flared leggings, like the actual legging material. The ones that I have aren't really like that, but we're going to go into it with an open mind and kind of my idea, this kind of like crop top which it's like a ribbed little crop top but hers has something on the front of it so I was also thinking going for this Calvin Klein one because it says like CK but I think because the bottoms they are black going with the white will just kind of pop it out a bit and I do have a green cardigan so I feel like this is going to be the most close as I can get it with what I have in my closet I was going to try to do a really like satisfying like but first it's too hard to do that with Okay, come on. For this recreation, I have to give myself a 10 out of 10. Although, I don't have a cute little bag under my arm, so maybe just for the look. I think this is pretty spot on. I feel like one of those Instagram baddie gals. The next one is this outfit, which is very, you know, summer, spring. I don't think I would wear this like out and about. I have two different kinds of shorts that I don't really know which one I want to go with. I mean, they're basically the same wash, but similar to the photo, this one does have like the distress on the bottom. And these I think have the length to them, but they aren't really that like summer, Hawaii, orange county type of one. I think these ones make the most sense. I know like bra tops are really in for 2021. I don't know if I can get on board with it. I mean, I don't care what other people wear, but for myself, I don't know if I can get on board with it. Like getting into crop tops is one thing, but like wearing a bra in like to the grocery store, I don't know if I'm ready for that. Let me take off my bra real quick. Um, BRB. This bra is a little bit too small for me. I thrifted it a bit ago. I just feel like there's so much skin showing. And then put this on, which I mean, it basically covers it. I mean, I would just only wear this like in the house on a really hot day. And also this bra is like basically a bra. Like I think if it was a bralette, then maybe I would feel more comfortable. Execution wise, I have to give myself a 10 out of 10 because I think this is a pretty good execution. I mean, again, it's not that wild or anything. I'm just wearing a bra with some shorts and a white button up. I mean, it makes me feel like it's summer, so. This next one, I, I'm not the most, like I'm excited for it, but there's another one I'm like more excited. This one's like, I'm secondly, this is the second most excited one I'm excited for. Man. Basically, I have these like fishnet style stockings and then a black blazer and then just some black boots. I mean, it's pretty, oof, it's pretty simple, but I think obviously the tights really make a difference. And I'm not super into tights, honestly. Like I feel like I would because the main reason why I was never into skirts is because I didn't want my butt to like touch everything I was sitting on. And then I realized I could just wear back shorts. But anyway, I'm excited for these because I also am not super into like funky patterns tights but I've been seeing these types of photos on Pinterest for the past couple months and I just want to try it out and I feel like this is definitely an outfit most people can recreate maybe not the tights I mean you don't have to have pattern tights to recreate this outfit you could just do it with some normal black ones but I mean I'm, I does kind of make a difference with these these are always so hard because I'm scared I'm gonna get like things stuck on them Ooh! I am gonna wear bike shorts just because I don't I don't really know what she's wearing or is she wearing a black dress should I wear a black dress let me actually try a black dress because I mean we're gonna button up the blazer so I feel like it would be fine I don't know how I feel about honestly the dress like I wish I just had a black skirt because I feel like it's just overpowering it a bit but it's fine she's wearing just like combat boots and I already wore my Jaden so I kind of want to go for my unif boots although those are a lot more platform I just figured why not we go big or we go home okay I think this outfit is really cute look at that I mean really the only thing you would need to recreate this are the tights other than that you're like pretty golden with like any black dress or just shorts and some just chunky boots love it love it 
good time. The next outfit is this, which I definitely do not honestly have any of the colors, but I'm going to try to like deconstruct it with what I have. I only have one colored pant, one colored pants. Also jewelry wise, I definitely don't have any of those pieces. Those like chunky rings. I mean, I just, I'm not a ring person. I totally understand it. I think it really adds to an outfit, but it's just not, it's not really me. So these are the only colorful pants that I own. So we'll just go with it. It's gonna be kind of like a dark, <laughs> like fall version of this outfit. I'm gonna go for this button up because this is the only, I guess, like funky button up that I own. This is the best that I can personally do. Although I realize I'm gonna put it with a red leather blazer that I thrifted. Um, I mean, it's basically Christmas. Oh well, I feel like this outfit does not look good. This is the outfit. It's not great. I'm gonna have to give myself a one out of 10. Let's just pretend this never happened. So this one is another one where I don't have necessarily the same colored pieces, but I have similar structures and styles styles of those pieces, kind of. We're just gonna kind of go with it. I feel like this may be another bad one. The person's wearing a turtleneck and I did, I thought they were wearing a just like white t-shirt. Should I do a turtleneck? I feel like it may look a little bit off, but I'm just gonna go with it. I mean, I'm pretty surprised. I don't absolutely hate it. I think if the top had a pattern on it, it actually would look really cool. Because it's black, it's just blending in with the black blazer. But like the white turtleneck with even the white pants, like I'm kind of feeling. And then the brown belt. Although I, I, I hate these types of tops. The cow neck, I just cannot do it. And I don't know how to wear them. They show my bra. They're so freaking annoying. I don't know how the little like lip is supposed to go. But I think if it was patterned, I would actually really enjoy this outfit. Don't think it's bad. It does the job. I'm gonna give myself a 7 out of 10. The next outfit is this, which is from a runway show. I don't know what runway show, but I absolutely fell in love with the satin and the sweater. I've put slip dresses on top of like t-shirts and also button-ups, but never over a sweater. Although I really wish I had some boots like this, like the lime green. I only have black, so yeah. But I'm trying to figure out what I should wear. So I have this outfit, which this is just a thrifted purple satin dress on top of this blue kind of chunky sweater which I feel like overall the colors technically really go with the outfit that I pinned. I was also thinking about just based on potentially liking it a lot better with the colors being a little bit more cohesive although they're not supposed to really match like that's kind of the whole point but the sweater is kind of like a mock neck and so I have this yellow one and I feel like this on top could be a look. So let's put that on. Oh my god, it's literally strangling me. Oh, my head get bigger or something? Eh, I swear. I literally almost choked myself. Oh man, I really wish I had some green boots. It would be so so cute but overall honestly this is probably one of my favorites i know it may not even look that cute but i don't care it's just a way that i never thought of wearing my slip dresses but yeah i love this outfit i'm gonna give myself a 10 out of 10 so this next outfit i think you really gotta you gotta stay with me you gotta wait till the end with the outfit on i also do because i'm still a little bit iffy about this one but it is this outfit and although i do not have a green see-through top like this i have elements that are similar i figured i have this green tube top it's the only tube top that I own. I thought about putting this on top of it, but I feel like with this being neon and this being pastel, it just would not go. So I then was thinking, cause this is, I mean, I only have two tops like that. So it's either that one or this one. And we're gonna try this one with the green under. Have these just black and white kind of pants. Again, stay with me, stay with me, do not judge it. I'm gonna wear these boots from Aloha's because I think it would really like elongate the outfit. I feel like the Pinterest outfit is a lot more like casual. Mostly because of the shoes, I feel like these black heels, as amazing as they are, they just like dress up the outfit a little bit too much. With there being like a green tube top, I feel like it doesn't really go. But honestly, I kind of want to get into tube tops now. I've always been kind of like, uh, I don't know. That's why the green one is the only one that I own, but I never thought of putting them under tops like this. I think it's actually quite cute. I think it's interesting. The last Pinterest outfit is my favorite, or at least the one that I've been most excited to do for this video, and the main reason why I even decided to do this video, which is this. And there's a lot of elements in it that I do own, which is awesome. It's very preppy. It's very outside my comfort zone. Now, I technically don't know what she's wearing under the jacket. I have like that long jacket and I feel like I have to wear something under it. So I may wear just my white turtleneck. 
I think the only time I've worn white tights, I was in ballet for like two days, so I feel like that doesn't really count because I don't think I ever actually wore them. I think I quit before that. Gosh darn it, I just realized I'm gonna wear white shoes and I left my white sock. Just pretend you don't see them, okay? I don't know how long this is and if it will cover my butt. Okay, I mean, honestly, it's not that bad. Then we have the little headband. I think this is a good recreation. I gotta give myself a 10 out of 10. Although I do wish it was a little bit shorter so you could see more of my tights. I think it does the job. Claps for me. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, like 99% of all the items that I showed in this video are thrifted. So if you like thrifting videos, then make sure to subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Alex, and try 83 to keep up to date with me during the week. I will see you guys on Sunday with a brand new sunny Sunday video. I hope you have a super sunny day. Enjoy life, be happy, and I'll love you a lot. Bye!